peeps welcome to the worst channel in the world as you can see share my story what we are watching my teacher got me pregnant let's hop into it ever done something truly evil and destroyed someone's whole life no. well i have i was 19 and about to graduate from God didn't move. From high school. But then my math teacher, Mr. Cumberbatch, told me I'd failed his class and would have to repeat the year. Mr. Cumberbatch. Mr. Cumberbatch. That's like cucumber on a batch. Cucumber sandwich on a batch. And she, fa she looks like a smart girl. I was devastated because I had already made plans to go to college. So I started crying and begged him to show mercy and let me pass. But he said, no, and shook his head. In a last attempt, I gave him a big hug and said, please, Mr. Cumberbatch, isn't there anything? What the hell is that face? Look at it, it's like, oh, break me. No, I can't, wait, no. Please, Mr. Cumberbatch. Thing I can do? He pushed me away and said, no, it's too late now. But I showed persistence and kept begging him, saying, Please, 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 Mr. Cumberbatch, isn't there anything I can do for you? Finally, he had a change of heart and wrote down an address on a paper and said, Okay, come here on Saturday, 6 p.m. We will do some math exercises, and if you do well, I will change your grade and let you pass. I gave him one last hug and said, Thank you, Mr. Cum- By title, we can all tell how it's gonna go, is it? Cumberbatch, you are the best. When Saturday arrived, I was very nervous. I didn't know if I was going on a date or if I was getting a private math lesson. But just to be sure, I dressed myself up. I put on my old school uniform, but made a few changes to look as exciting as possible. When I arrived at his house, he opened the door and said, Come in, you're looking gorgeous today. Hold, hold, hold up. So I should if I left my iPad up, sorry for the noise, but it's like me. Coming into my class. Take me going to my teacher. You look hot today. Who does that? Oh. I responded with, Thank you, Mr. Cumberbatch. You're looking good too. We sat down at It's cute Cumberbatch, obviously. At a desk and he told me to solve some math problems, but I couldn't focus. Mr. Cumberbatch was so close to me and I realized how attractive he was. I mean I was nineteen. Oh, that's messed up. And he was only 10 years older than me. What turned me on the most was the authority he had over me. He could decide whether I would pass the year or repeat it. At one point, I just stared into his eyes and hoped he would kiss me. But I guess he was too nervous. So in Whoa. instead, I kissed him. And he liked it. Kissing my high school teacher wasn't technically illegal, but we I'm gonna be sick. still broke the rules of our school. A teacher-student relationship was strictly prohibited, but that's what made it so exciting. When we said goodbye to each other, I asked him if I had studied enough to pass the year, and he said, You have worked very hard today, and therefore I will let you pass. I said, Thank you, Mr. Cumberbatch, and gave him one more kiss on his mouth. This might shock you, but it was my first time. And because of my inexperience, I forgot to tell him to use protection. So two weeks later, I found out I was pregnant. I didn't mind, though. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. She doesn't mind. That's amazing. Oh, because I really liked Mr. Cumberbatch. <clears throat> the next day, I went up to him at school to tell him about the baby. I secretly hoped we would become a couple. But when he heard the news, he got angry and said, You will go to the pharmacy right now and get the pill. I didn't like the way he talked to me. This was my body and therefore my decision. I asked him if he was interested in raising the baby with me, but he freaked out and screamed, I already have a wife and kid. I'll never take care of your stupid baby. Go to the pharmacy right now. I s- Wife? Student? Putting together. A Fortnite 1v1 one one. and kidding, kid, sorry. Screamed back, you're married? And he oh. said, of course, and don't act like you didn't know. All my students know I have a wife and kid. Wow, what a jerk! 
Not only did he betray his wife, but now he was trying to put the blame on me. Wow. I got angry and said, I will keep the baby and tell your wife what you did. That's when he almost had a seizure and screamed right at me. You won't do that. But then I had an idea. Yes, she will. I knew I would keep the baby anyway, but at least I could pretend to make a deal with him. I said, if you turn all my grades into straight A's, then I will change my mind on the baby. Mr. Cumberbatch was desperate. He agreed to the deal and snuck into our school at night to change my grades on the principal's computer. But two days later, on my graduation day, things went wrong. When my principal handed over my report card, he took a quick look at it and said, There must have been a mistake. I immediately knew my plan had failed, and the next day I got my real report card, and my grades were terrible. The only A I got was in Mr. Cumberbatch's math class. I knew it wasn't his fault, but I was so angry, I found out his address and went to his house. God. A woman opened the door, and she was pregnant too! I asked her if she was the wife of Mr. Cumberbatch, and she said yes. Then Mr. Cumberbatch appeared next to her. He stared at me in a very threatening way. For a moment, I had doubts, but then I looked straight into her eyes and said, Your husband got me pregnant, and he has no interest in taking responsibility for his mistake. I hoped she would get angry at her husband, but instead she got angry at me, wow. screaming, You bitch! You've seduced my husband, you dirty bitch! What? Wow. Um, let's just take a moment of peace and say... This is child wait. This is a year after adulthood abuse. Wow, if Mr. Cumberbatch hadn't held her back from me, I might not be alive today. I was shocked and went back home, but it got worse. The next day, she came to my house and used a golf club to break in through a window. My parents what? weren't at home to protect me, so I fled to the rooftop and called the police. They arrived in time and took Mrs. Cumberbatch into custody. Two weeks later, she was sentenced to 24 months in prison. But this story gets even crazier. I called up Mr. Cumberbatch and told him we needed to talk. We met at a restaurant and I asked him, How much child support will you pay me each month? He responded, I'm only a teacher. I don't make much money. But I asked again, How much child support are you going to pay me? He said, Look, my pregnant wife is in prison and we both know she is insane. I will divorce her as soon as possible, and I'd like you to come live with me. It will be the best for both you Wait! Wait! Before, wait, 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 no, before. Before. Excuse me. And the baby. I immediately said yes. Hey yo! Cookies! Biscuits! Cookies! I was hit you. Oi! Bow! Okay, yeah. No. That's Sorry, because I was scary. scared of being a single mom. Yeah. But after my daughter was born, I had to take care of both her and Mr. Cumberbatch's other baby. At first, I didn't mind. I loved them both. But then I saw how Mr. Cumberbatch preferred his other daughter over mine. He spent more time with her and treated her so much better. Every morning. Shush. What's that? What's He said to her, Hey, sweetie, good morning. I love you so much. And then he completely ignored my daughter. I had to admit that she was the perfect child. Extremely beautiful and very wow. smart. Much smarter than my daughter. Oh. At age two, she already spoke fluently. I often screamed at Mr. Cumberbatch, telling him to treat them equally, but he never did. At one oh point, I couldn't take it anymore. I went to a lawyer and asked him how much the father of my child had to pay me in child support on a $40,000 teacher salary. He told me to expect at least $1,000 per month. That was a good amount, but I knew I could do better. Okay. So I went to Mr. Cumberbatch and said, I will move out, but I expect you to pay me $2,000 in child support each month. Of course he told me he didn't have enough money to do that, but I continued. 
If you don't pay me the money, I will tell the school authorities that you got me pregnant while I was one of your students. I'm sure they will fire you for that. He got angry and said, How stupid are you? If I'm going to lose my job, then how am I going to pay your child support? I responded, You are demanded by the law to pay my child support anyway. If you don't, you will go to prison just like your wife. You are insane! All you women are insane! He said. But I didn't care. I told him to get a second job. And we figured he could tutor kids to afford the $2,500 in child support. Meanwhile, I moved back in with my parents and life became much easier for me. Right now, my mom takes care of my daughter while I'm going to college. With the $2,500 Mr. Cumberbatch sends me each month, I have enough money to feed my daughter and party through the weekends. Trust me, I really enjoy my college life. But Mr. Cumberbatch had to move into a cheaper and smaller house. He couldn't afford his old rent anymore. I knew it was wrong, but for some reason, I deeply enjoyed seeing Mr. Cumberbatch suffer. His eyes, bruh. A few months later, I checked his Facebook and saw he was back with Mrs. Cumberbatch. I was still envious of their daughter. I didn't think they deserved such a perfect child. So one night, after I came back from a college party, I did something terrible. I put a bunch of photos of me holding Mrs. Cumberbatch's daughter on a USB stick, put it in an envelope, and sent it to their new home. I wanted to let Mrs. Cumberbatch know that her husband and I had been living together while she was in prison. I'd hoped she'd get angry and break into my house so the police could arrest her again. But this time nothing happened, and instead of giving up, I took it one step further. When it was time to receive my next child support check, I went to their home to pick it up personally. Mrs. Cumberbatch opened the door looking shocked to see me. I said, I want to pick up my child support check in person. She said, what are you talking about? And I responded, your husband didn't tell you? He pays me $2,000 per month in child support so I can take care of my daughter. I saw she was getting angry. And then her daughter came to the door and saw me. She immediately started screaming out of joy and ran up to me. Her mother said, don't touch her. But I didn't care. I picked her up and said, oh, there's my baby. Mama is back now. Her mother took her out of my arms and screamed at me. You dirty little girl. All you do is destroy happy families. I responded, if you're such a happy family, why didn't your husband tell you he's paying another girl $2,000 a month in child support? And where is he anyway? I'm sure he wants to sleep with me again. She responded, you better not come here again or it will be your last time. And I said, you better be careful your husband doesn't get another girl pregnant. He really doesn't care about you. That's when she suddenly ran into her apartment. I was afraid she was getting a knife, so I quickly got out of there ASAP. But on my way home, I felt weird. Like I had done something wrong. It seemed that Mrs. Cumberbatch had matured and was really trying her best to make things work. Meanwhile, I was the one trying to destroy their family and making everyone mis- You're a witch. Miserable. I knew I'd messed up. And that's why I decided not to bother them anymore. I still receive my child support checks, but now I fully focus on my daughter and on college. That's a good story. That's going to be the end of it then. Goodbye.